My name is Tyler Johnson. I'm a clinical associate professor at the Stanford University School of Medicine in the Division of Oncology in the Department of Medicine. And tomorrow I'm going to be part of a panel at the ASCO annual meeting that will include Dr. Jay Wellens, who's a pediatric neurosurgeon, and Dr. Sunita Puri, who is a palliative care doctor. And the three of us are going to be talking about trying to find and keep a sense of meaning and inspiration in our careers as doctors. I come at this uh, from a special vantage point. A couple of years ago, I, along with many others in the medical profession, recognized that there is a growing epidemic of burnout in our profession with many people either already having left medicine or getting ready to leave medicine. And a colleague at Stanford of mine and I wanted to explore the reasons for and possible ways to address this epidemic of burnout. And so a couple of years ago, we decided to start a podcast called The Doctor's Art. And in the years since then, much to our surprise, we thought that maybe, you know, our moms and a couple of friends would listen to it. But in the years since then, it's become one of the most widely listened to medical podcasts in the world. And we have spoken on the podcast with a whole range of people from theologians to authors to journalists to doctors to nurses to and doctors and nurses from all different uh, fields of medicine, trying to understand why so many doctors feel burnt out and what we can do to try to address the problem. And many of the things that we recognize have recognized during the podcast were intuitive to us before we started. We knew, for example, that immense technological changes in the practice of medicine have certainly impacted the way that doctors feel about their own practice. We similarly knew that the corporatization and bureaucratization of the medical practice were leading factors in uh, leading to burnout. But what we did not anticipate and have found very consistently talking to people from many different walks of life over now getting close to probably 150 hours of published conversations on our podcast is that actually perhaps the leading thing that is uh, causing this epidemic of burnout in medicine is something that lies within each doctor's individual control, at least to some degree. And that is that we have largely come to see doctoring as a mechanical pursuit. That is to say that we have come to view people largely as very complicated machines and that our job as doctors has come to seem like the job of a machinist. There's uh, nothing against machinists, of course, we need them uh, for things to operate smoothly in the world. But I think that most people who dedicated a decade to a decade and a half of their life to become doctors didn't go in it, go into medicine because they wanted to become technicians. They went into it because they wanted to care for other human beings. And so the counterintuitive result that we have learned as a result of these conversations on our podcast podcast and our own experience as doctors is that perhaps the most important thing that we can do to try to ameliorate the epidemic of burnout in medicine is to return a sense of mystery or even a sense of spirituality to the way that we practice medicine. It is to view medicine as a fundamentally mysterious pursuit where we are caring for people who have, even though we don't usually like to use the word in very scientific places, something like a soul. And our conclusion after these many hours of podcasting is that by returning to a place where we can recognize the soulful aspects of practicing medicine, where we can infuse that sense of mystery and spirituality back into the way that we practice, that that gives us something that lies within our control that can lend to us a sense of hope that perhaps if we address things that way, we will be able to find meaning and inspiration and hold on to those sources of meaning as we go about practicing medicine over the course of our careers.